We like to think of agriculture as good, clean, outside work. Something healthy and wholesome and outdoors and kids working for their families' farms and helping out when they can. The reality is today, farm work is something completely different. I started working when I was 11 years old. It feels like you don't got no choices. You don't, you don't feel the same as other kids. There are hundreds of thousands of children working on U.S. farms. And many kids who are working are working on large commercial farms. The child labor law in the U.S. is pretty good, except when it comes to agriculture. And then it has a big gaping hole. U.S. law allows children to work in agriculture at far younger ages for unlimited hours outside of school in much more dangerous conditions than any other sector. So a child can work perfectly legally for any farmer at age 12. A child couldn't work serving the food that he can work 10, 12, 14 hours picking. Farm work is actually the most dangerous occupation that's open to kids in the U.S. in terms of fatalities. Kids are working with dangerous and sharp tools, doing work um, that may require them to be bent down for hours. I've talked to kids who've worked in 14 states around the U.S. and kids told me about the, the toll that this work takes on their bodies. The airplane flew over the field and began spraying on the field, and I didn't know what the spray was, what the spray contained or what it was. The drift was coming towards our field because it was windy, and I'm thinking, oh, it's just water that's making the crops grow better. Now, pesticide exposure isn't good for for any farm workers, but it's especially bad for children whose bodies are still developing. Farm worker families are typically very, very poor. And kids told me that they worked in order to put food on the table or to fix the family's truck or to pay the phone bill. Kids are working because their families really need the money. When children work so many hours during school and over the summers, it really hurts their education. Kids who migrate leave school early and go back to school late, missing weeks or months of school every year. These kids are from Texas, where school started three days ago. Now, some of these kids will enroll in Michigan schools when those start up in a couple of weeks. Others will just wait till they get back down to Texas. It was hard to catch up in school. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for me because, like, my sometimes I'll be there in class and my friends know everything I didn't know. And... It was hard and kind of sometimes I feel like embarrassed because I never catch up with them. Kids are also working because it's legal. U.S. law presents it as a legitimate choice for families to send their kids out to work. And employers are free to hire them. Do they pay each person? Yeah, they pay us each person. Yeah. So even like the, um, your 12-year-old daughter is going to make... Um, they pay her. Pay her yeah, they pay her. Um, like she's 12, so uh, he probably won't make the check under her name because she doesn't have any ID or anything to cash the check, mm -hmm. so that he'll just probably put it in my check. The Fair Labor Standards Act is U.S. federal law that, among other things, prohibits child labor. But when the law was passed, um, a big exception was left for agriculture. In 1938, a lot of Americans lived on family farms, and far fewer Americans graduated from high school or needed a high school diploma. Today, the picture is different, but the, the loophole remains. It's not right that these kids, and including me, that, I'm, that I lost my childhood and other children should lose their childhood as well. When I turned 14, that's when I dropped out from school and went to the strawberries in Florida. And then we came back to Ohio and, did the, and started working on the pickles, harvesting. Mm. But it's, it really hasn't been easy. Right now, there's a bill pending in Congress called the CARE Act. and It's a bill that would amend the Fair Labor Standards Act to apply the same rules to kids working in agriculture as kids working in any other sector. A lot of people walked beans or detasseled corn or did other kinds of farm work when they were teenagers. But the CARE bill is about protecting the most vulnerable kids. Not kids who are doing chores, but young kids who are working for such long hours and compromising their health and their education.